Before we start learning about this new server, let's revise some basic concepts. We have understood that every computer needs an IP address in order to be part of a network. There are two types of IP addresses, public IP address and private IP address. The public IP address is assigned by an ISP. Typically, this is assigned to the router. Private IP addresses are used within a LAN. The private ranges are 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 to 10.255.255.255.172.16.0.0.2.172.31.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
the DHCP server sends the offer along with the IP details and lease period. If the client is happy with the offer, it requests the DHCP server to assign that IP address. Finally, DHCP server acknowledges the request by assigning the IP address to the client. Let's look at this process a little closer. Consider this network with few clients and a DHCP server. When a client is switched on, it starts looking for a DHCP server. Because it does not know the IP address of the DHCP server, it will send this discover message to every computer in the network. This process of sending packets to all the computers in a network is called broadcasting. 255.255.255.255 is the broadcast IP address. Other details in the discover packets are as follows. While we are on this topic, let's recall that DHCP works on port number 67. All the other computers ignore the discover message sent by the client machine. But the DHCP server responds back with the offer. Because the client machine currently does not have any IP address, the offer message is sent to everyone in the network. The details of offer packet include source IP address, destination IP address, source MAC and destination MAC. Plus, it also has the IP and lease details. So after receiving the offer, the client requests for the IP address directly with the DHCP server. Finally, the DHCP server assigns the IP address through the acknowledgement phase. You might be wondering, how does the computer know that it has to look for a DHCP server on startup? This is controlled by the method of IP address assignment. Almost all the computers have two methods of IP address assignment. Number one, automatic IP assignment. Number two, manual IP assignment. When an automatic IP address assignment method is configured on a computer, it will start looking for a DHCP server to get an IP address. Because the configuration says so, that is to get the IP address on its own. Finally, let's look at where the DHCP server has to be placed in the network. Just like Active Directory, the DHCP server is also placed in the server LAN.